All right, welcome back to part two. Let me make sure, we're, yeah, we're good. Um, let's come back to our X method. So I'll draw our X here. And A times C is gonna be here. We want these to multiply. And B is gonna be here, we want these to add. And then we want to divide by A, divide by A. Once we figure out what that number is. All right, so um, let's draw our X. Um, what is A times C? What's two times negative one? What well, is negative two? It's gonna multiply to get negative two. And what's our B? Our B is negative one. So we want two numbers that uh, add to negative one, but multiply to get to negative two. Um, and if you notice how these are both negative, since these are both negative, that's a clue that one of these numbers is gonna be negative, one of them is gonna be positive. Since we need this to be a negative one, we want our bigger number to be negative and this other number is gonna be smaller, or uh, positive, sorry. So negative two times a positive one gives me negative two, and negative two plus one gives me a negative one. So now that we've got our two numbers, I can divide this by a. So I'm gonna divide this by, what did we say a was? Neg uh, a was two, so I'll divide this by two. I'll divide this by two. I can simplify this to be negative one over one. So if I take negative one over one, and then I write that with my term, I'm gonna do the bottom one first, so that's gonna be x, and this will be minus one. And then one half, uh, one half, what will one half give me? Well, that'll give me a two x, and then plus one. So our answer, is x minus one, 2x plus one. There we go, let's check it. So x minus one, 2x plus one. I will FOIL, so we get 2x squared. Um, this will be plus x. Negative one times ne uh, 2x would be a minus 2x. And then this would be a minus one. Um, anybody notice what I'm doing wrong so far? Yeah, I'm using X's instead of N's. So we'll, we'll change that here in a sec. So let's just keep doing X's for now. So this will be two X squared plus, ooh, just kidding. Because X minus two X would be minus X minus one. Um, and really this should be 2n squared minus n minus 1. And this should really be n minus 1, uh, 2n plus 1. Doesn't matter a whole lot, but since the problem started with n's, we want to keep it consistent and use n's. If you use n's and then you start talking about x's, um, they're going to be like, well, these are two different things. They, don't, they could mean totally different things. So just a heads up. All right. Example 5. Um, again, let's do our x, a, c, b, we want to divide by a, divide by a, let's see what we get. Um, so 20 will go here, a 4 times 5 is 20, and b is our negative 3. So let's start listing the factors of 20, we've got 1 times 20. 2 times 10, 4 times 5, um, and that's it. So are there any, so since this is a positive and this is a negative, these both need to be negative. So are there any combinations of these numbers that could get me to a multiply to get 20, but add to get negative 3? And I don't see anything, at least no integers. So no integers will give you a product of 20 and a 
summation of negative three. If you run into this case, you can label these as prime for now. So for now, we're just gonna call this one prime. All right, so you, you, you can't do it using integers, okay? Um, and I went ahead and graphed it just to see if there were any um, any zeros. And I know I keep throwing that, I might be keep using the word zeros, but I'll, I'll explain that on the next page. But there were no zeros for this function. So let's look at, um, let's look at roots. So the roots, uh, a function has a root when it crosses the x-axis, where f of x equals zero, a function can have more, uh, it can have more than one root. Quadratics, quadratic functions, also called parabolas, um, will have two roots, one roots, or no roots, zero roots. Um, so how to find the roots? You're gonna take your answer from the above problems and set them equal to zero, set them equal to zero. Uh, and then you're gonna solve for x. So find the roots for the first five problems. You can check your answer by graphing the original function. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see, what was our answer for example one? Example one, we had this seven x plus one x plus four. So we'll have seven x plus one and x plus four. So in order to find the roots, we're going to take each of these and set them equal to zero. And what we find out is that um, we get 7x equal to negative 1. I'm going to divide by 7, divide by 7, and I get that x is equal to negative 1 seventh. That's my first root. And then let's see what is x equal to over here? Well, x is equal to negative four over here. So these are my two roots. Um, these values are where the function crosses the x axis. So let's look at example two. Use a different color. Example two, we had the three, three x plus two, x plus three. So let's do three x plus two, x plus three. If you ever run into a case where you've got like a random number on the outside, you can just ignore it to find the roots, okay? So what we'll get is x plus two equals zero and x plus three equals zero. So I'll subtract two, subtract two, x is gonna be equal to negative two. I'll subtract three, subtract three, and x is equal to negative three. So our roots are x equals negative two and x equals negative three. So look at example three. Example three, we had this one right here, three x minus five, x minus four. Let's use orange again, because that's what we were using. Um, so three x minus five, x minus four, was that right? Yeah, okay. Um, so now we can set three x minus five equal to zero and x minus four equal to zero. So minus five minus five, we get three x is equal to negative five. Divide by three, divide by three, x is equal to negative five thirds. And for this one, um, plus four, plus four. So x is equal to four. So these are our roots. All right, and the last one, 
I'm skipping example five because they didn't have any roots. Uh, let's see, the last one was n minus one, two n plus one. n minus one, two n plus one. Okay, so to find the roots for this one, I'll say n minus one is equal to zero, two n minus or plus one is equal to zero. So I'll add one, I'll add one. So n is one, subtract one, subtract one, I get two n equals negative one, divide by two, n is equal to negative one half. So that's my first root, it's my second root, or first root, second root, doesn't matter which order. Um, and that's how you find the roots. Um, it's uh, just something a little extra, not um, not too hard, not too difficult. I thought that part was always um, pretty easy after factoring everything all day. All right, um, if you need any help or have any questions, let me know, and uh, good luck on the Alex assignment.